Why I unpublished three of my books is the topic of this video. If you are new here, my name is Mari Suggs and I am a self-published author of three novels, three nonfiction books, and three reference books. But today we are going to be talking about my three nonfiction books that I unpublished. Number one, it was hashtag believe, damn it. Number two, it was enough. And number three, it was the super manifesting journal. Now you might be asking yourself, why would I unpublish these three books and why did I actually unpublish my best selling book? Well, it all comes down to faith. In 2012, I discovered the law of attraction and then I would spend the next 10 years of my life writing vlogs about it, writing books about it, creating videos about it, talking to family and friends about it, sharing it on social media. It had become my life. At the time, I thought it was life-changing. I thought it had transformed my life in ways that I never would have imagined. Now, let's pause there. That's what I did for 10 years. Prior to that, in 2003, I had become a born-again Christian. Prior to that, I, had, I was raised Catholic, so Jesus had always been a part of my life, but I didn't like follow it on the daily. It's not like I read the Bible or went to church consistently. At one period I did, in, right when I was saved in, 20, in 2003, I was going to church consistently, but then that faded and prior to that I did it. And then I was at a job that I hated and I felt lost. And that's when I was introduced to the law of attraction. And basically I wanted to have control of my life. I refused to believe that I had no control over my life and I wanted control. I wanted to dictate what happened in my life. I didn't want it to just be out of my hands. And that's why the law of attraction was so attractive to me and why I felt the need to share it because as I did things and believed things, things were changing. Now let's fast forward to 2022 when God called me back home to the faith. When I first started diving back into Christianity and reading the Bible and just consuming all the Christian stuff that I could, I thought that the law of attraction and Christianity were basically the same, just the terminology was different. You know, they used different words to say the same thing. At the core, everything was the same. But as I got closer to God, as I studied the Bible and got really in tune with my faith and, and heard from God, I started getting convicted about the things that I had said and the, the books that I had written and the, the things that I had shared to the point that I could no longer ignore it. And that's when I decided to unpublish those books and I have no regrets about it. It didn't matter to me what um, what I had done in the past, the work that I had put into all those books and all that content that I had shared and created. I didn't care if it would all just go away. All I wanted was to be faithful to Jesus. I just wanted I just felt so bad and so guilty and so convicted over the things that I had said and shared over the last 10 years that, you know, even now I still cry over just walking away from, from, from my faith the way I did for 10 years. So that is the reason why I unpublished those three books and I have no regrets and I would do it all over again. And going forward, that is not something that I will be sharing on this channel. If that is something that, um, that, you guys want to know more about you know the differences between christianity and and the law of attraction i would be happy to share it um but you know right here what i'm going to be sharing is just my writing my self-publishing journey my i will be vlogging and i will be talking about my faith so what is next for my writing career well i am going to be focusing on the fiction side of things i have a christmas novel that i'm so close to finishing that i can actually taste it <laughs> i have ordered Ordered a proof which I have read a couple times I've made a couple changes and I just need to transfer all that information onto the manuscript now once I do that I will order another proof read it again and make sure it's ready to go I still have a lot of work to do as far as that novel is concerned I want this release to be the biggest release I have ever had I have a list of marketing ideas that I've picked up from different author tubers here that they've done and on TikTok I see what they're doing and I've got 
a, a, li a list compiled of ideas that I think are going to take the novel to the next level. Now I just have to execute it because what's happened in the past is every single time I have a release, I basically drop the ball. I don't really promote it leading up to the release. I don't do anything the day of release and I stop promoting it shortly after the release. It's almost like that's the end for me when in reality it's just started for the reader, right? So I intend on changing that with this release. I really want to make a difference. I want this book to get out to a ton of readers and I have, like I said, I have a lot of marketing ideas that I will be sharing with you guys going forward. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to be sharing all that content on here and hopefully it will help you. Hopefully I will do it successfully so that you have a point of reference and you can do the same thing with your release. I'm also in the process of writing another book that I started last year, but really I haven't touched it since June of last year. So I will be getting back to that, but I really want to finalize my Christmas novel, get it ready to go. And then once that's like you know, ready, ready, then I can go back to focusing on writing. I imagine it's probably not going to happen till I move. Like if you'd missed my last video, I'm moving back to Georgia into my own place with my own office in June of this year. So I think I'll probably pick up the writing process then, maybe earlier, but I'm thinking after I move, I'll probably start the writing process again. But my main focus right now is focusing on my Christmas release. And I know that it's February and that I shouldn't be thinking about a release later on this year, but I have to, because I, I have to do it right this time around. So if you guys are in the middle of writing or self-publishing a book and you want to see more videos like that, make sure you check out this video right here and I will see you in the next video. Until next time, God bless you.